Hello guys, welcome back to Sand VFX. Today in this quick tip lesson, we're going to be looking at how to render out wireframe mode in 3ds Max using V-Ray. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. So, this is just um, X model. There is a tutorial on how to model this X model as well on my YouTube channel. And here I have rendered out the model w along with the wireframe. Okay, so if you are just a modeler and you don't know how to render using shaded materials and you want to showcase your 3D models then this is the best way to showcase your 3D models along with these uh, wireframes okay so this will show the flow of uh, edges in your model so it can be if you don't know you may not be able to render it out easily but this is a really easy way to render these wireframes in V-Ray so that's what I'm gonna show you today I've loaded up my X model already into my scene so let me first of all position it right at the top okay like that okay okay that's good and then let me go to material editor and first of all I'm gonna load up our V-Ray material okay let me go down and V-Ray material the next step I'm gonna do is go to another slot and from there let me get material and get down to okay um, we need to get down here on maps and down to V-Ray is his text okay double click that and you can just close this map browser and from here you can select the color for your wireframe let's say I'm gonna set it to black you can set it to any other color if you like and then let me go to the first material and then drag and drop this V-Ray edge text down to the diffu diffuse slot and leave that and let it be an instance okay now I can change the diffuse color uh, let's say let me set it to something wider gray okay now if I hit render then you will see that this part right here is getting the wireframe but all the parts need to be applied the same material so let me select all of them and then apply okay once that is done let me go to my render setup and quickly set up my scene okay you may want to be sure that you follow this so that you can get exactly similar uh, like this one this technique is really good for showcasing the models and it really looks good on just a model okay so first of all let me go to indirect illumination tab and turn on global illumination and ambient occlusion I'm not gonna go up with lots of different settings and just a simple one so let me just override my GI environment which will give a little bit of blue tint to your scene you can choose any of the colors if you like red or whatever color you want and then let me go to common tab and increase my size to HD okay and again let me go to indirect illumination tab and down to irradiance map I'm gonna set this preset to uh, low for now because the high will take a little more time to render so let me uh, zoom in a bit and let me hit render let's see okay now we can see our model is looking good but we're not we don't have this floor yet we need to create that so we'll do create that as well so let me close this cancel and let me go down to V-Ray V-Ray plane okay. and we're gonna need a uh, material for this video plane as well so let me go to material map browser and go to the next slot and create a white material okay and apply it to the V-Ray plane once that is done I can hit render Again. Okay, now you can see that we're getting that flow right there. Okay, let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's looking good. We do have some ambient occlusion as well. So that's how you render wireframe using V-Ray. One more thing I'd like to uh, talk about is, let's say I have some high models and let's say if I something like this angle and let me hit render the problem here you'll see is let's see okay you can see that the background here is completely black 
okay and let's say if you have a tall model let's say a human body or any other buildings then you'll have your buildings right on top of this black part so you don't want that you want all of your scene to be the same color as the floor so in order to do that let me open up my render setup and let me go to V-Ray tab down to environment you can see that we're using this uh, blue color right here so I'm gonna go to rendering environment and for the color I'm gonna use the same color okay so click this click the picker and you can pick this color okay close this close and you can hit render and now you will get an infinite plane of a same color without any separations okay that's it for today's quick tip we're working on building a sand VFX website so that should be online in f few weeks I know it's been a while I've been working but due to some problems I have to restart it again so really sorry for that and we do have lots of cool stuff waiting to be published when we publish our site like we do have our 3d model gallery there are not much right now but we'll definitely expand it um, more and more and we do have a texture free texture packs and PSD templates obviously all the tutorials included in our YouTube channel and let's say if we can add a little more content we'll definitely try to add more content and t everything is going to be free so it's really good right? okay thank you guys for watching this is just a quick tip and we do have some more tutorials mm, to be recorded and to be published when we publish our site so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit like and be ready to take a look at our site soon we'll notify you through our Facebook page so don't forget to like our page as well thank you very much see you soon goodbye